Hey everyone, it's Nicole Spore. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be creating some acetate overlays for Christmas cards using brand new products from the Colorado Craft Company July 2022 release, as well as some favorite products from my stash. I'm going to be creating this overlay with big bold sentiments that fits perfectly over these darling Anita Jerem images. So we're going to start with a four by five and a quarter inch panel of acetate. And this is with the Quick Cards Large Stamp Set from Colorado Craft Company. And you can see that you can mix and match the different greetings from this to build absolutely amazing sentiments for your cards. So amazing that really you wouldn't have to add anything else to them other than the sentiment. The sentiment becomes a part of uh, like the design of the card. But because I love to add all of the little critters, I thought wouldn't it be fun to create an overlay? And using my favorite stays on cotton white ink on the acetate, we are going to stamp our card. So for the first one, I'm using the phrase, may your days be merry and bright. And I'm simply fitting it together, the different components to build my sentiment. Using a standard Misty, I'm able to put part of the greeting on one side and the other on the other side of the Misty. This is going to be especially awesome. If you wanna mass produce a bunch of these, you could actually stamp all of them at one time very quickly and easily this way. With acetate, you need to use an ink that is going to uh, work on, it, you have to use a solvent ink, I guess is what I wanna say, because it's a slick surface. Uh, regular ink will never dry, dye ink, pigment ink, they will never dry on the acetate, so you're going to want to use a solvent ink. This cotton white stays on ink is my all time favorite. I know I've told you guys this every single time I use acetate and I stamp on it. 99% uh, of the time I'm using white. Um, I have black, but I hardly ever use it. I just love the way the white looks and especially for winter or Christmas themed cards. I think the white is so pretty. Let's go ahead and build our second sentiment. This time I am going to use Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. And we're gonna do basically the same thing. This is another four by five and a quarter inch panel. So both of these will be slightly smaller than A2 sized, giving me a little wiggle room, giving me a nice border when I adhere this to my white card base. A little tip, if your stamping doesn't go as you want it to when you're stamping on the acetate, so I had an error, you can take a little stamp cleaner and a paper towel or a microfiber cloth, whatever, and you can use that to clean the ink off of your acetate and it is going to wipe away so that you're not wasting the piece of acetate. Um, in this case, I had a little mistake, it, it didn't, peel up very nicely. I did re-ink my white stays on ink pad before I got started and it was a little too juicy and so um, I'd had a little trouble with it but because it's smeared I just cleaned it off and re-stamped it and I didn't waste that acetate. Accidentally I forgot to turn my camera on so I did ink up to four by five and a quarter inch panels with iced spruce distress oxide ink leaving the bottom of the panel white to kind of mimic snow. I don't know what it is about ice spruce, but it has become my color of the season, at least this early on, <laughs> as we're starting to think about holiday and Christmas cards. I really love it. It's kind of that bluey green color, and I think it's something a little different. I'm using the Waffle Flower Snowflake Background Stencil with some translucent grit paste over that, which means that the snowflakes are going to kind of blend into the background, but still have a little bit of that um, spark, not really sparkle, but maybe a little sparkle to it. And it'll show up, it's going to have grit texture, it's going to have, you know, a little bit of dimension, which I think is just going to add a very fun touch. Now I do want to set that aside to completely dry. I did both backgrounds. 
I am going to run everything to my sink and wash it with some warm water and then set it out to air dry and then I'm going to color in my images from the Anita Jerum um, Christmas hats stamp set. So everything but the snowman is from Christmas hats and then the snowman is a little teeny tiny stamp set called Sweet Snowman and he is going to work with any of your Anita Jerum images. I absolutely love this little snowman. I think he's really fun. If you caught my latest A Year of Christmas video, I will link to that here at the end of this video. Um, this snowman would be amazing if you would want to switch that out on the, the little tags I made rather than the other snowman I used. You could also pair any of the critters from this new stamp set or any of your favorite Anita Jerem images I think would make darling Christmas tags. So just kind of wanted to throw that out there as another possible idea for using these images. And of course, mix and match all of them with any of your favorite previously released Anita Jerem stamp sets for even more fun scene building and all of that good stuff. I am using some Copic markers to color in my images. I have listed those markers in the description box underneath the video here on YouTube, as well as over on my blog. I did opt to use this blue-green color combination that I feel like matches the iced spruce. Uh, that, and also the, the blue-green that I'm using for the snow, somewhere kind of in between those two colors I feel is iced spruce. So I like that they work with the iced spruce really, really well. I stamped all of my images. We're gonna color them all in and then we will die cut them with the coordinating dies. Love the cute, I like how the hats are so big that they hang over the eyes on the cat and the dog. I think that's kind of funny. And then there's like a hedgehog and there's all kinds of critters, like some little bugs. I think that's funny. The little mouse uh, with the hat and the toy bag is kind of one of my personal favorites. I don't like mice. I think I probably say this every time I do a card with mice, um, but stamped image mice for whatever reason are super fun and as I see him I'm looking for a sentiment like not a creature was stirring not even a mouse because I think this little guy would be so cute on like little tags. Um, I may have to come up with something there because I just think he is so super fun. And I tried to match my Odin, my one of my fur babies, uh, coloring with my marker choices here for the dog. And then my grand kitty, I, try, I he's, I have a couple. My son has, my oldest son has two cats, uh, but colored in the one with some grays. He turned out a little more gray than black. My son's one cat is all black. Um, but I, that's kind of what I, the, the feeling I was trying to evoke as coloring these in, I think. And I'm going to just continue to color all of these. I will tell you that my, the coloring in real time took about 10 minutes, I think is it. Um, I was super speedy colorer. All the colors I feel like I have all the colors out right now and then I did add some of the blue green down near the base of all of my critters just to kind of give it that snow feel so that it really ties in to our distress inked background let's color in our hedgehog again I just kept to a very traditional color combo with the reds and the greens for all of the hats and accessories And then of course, all of the darling cute critters. The dog and the cat will be on one of the cards and on the other one, we're going to use the hedgehog, snowman and mouse. Going back to some warm grays for the hat on the snowman. And then I am gonna go back to the E81 
84 and 87 that I used for the dog for my mouse. Once we have these die cut, it is time to put it all together. Now with the acetate, there isn't a super great way to hide adhesive here where it's not going to show. So the whole panel is actually going to be loose except for being stapled up at the top, which I was thinking about this as I was putting my cards together, how often I used to use the tiny attacher from Tim Holtz um, in scrapbooking. I've had it forever. I still love it and I probably break it out maybe once every, I'd love to say every year, but I bet you it's not even that. Um, but I thought, let's just staple a little piece of ribbon to connect the paper and the acetate together. I did add some white pin detail first. Kind of forgot to mention that. I'm adding some decoration to like the hats and scarf, uh, stripes on hats, little things like that. Just a few little areas here and there to add a little extra fun. And here I have all of my components. Before I attach the acetate to the background, I do want to adhere my images. And because the grit paste has a little texture to it, I think I'm gonna go ahead and adhere everything with foam adhesive squares. Uh, foam adhesive is kind of my go-to and I think it'll be a little stronger than a tape runner. So I am going to go ahead and take some foam adhesive and adhere each little scene to the bottom of the snowflake background. Look at that great grit paste texture. Even if you wanted to add any other kind of uh, sentiment to the card, maybe on a sentiment strip or a die cut word, whatever the case may be, you could definitely do that. And I think that would be beautiful as well. Look at that snowman, how cute. I just love it against that iced spruce background and then the grit paste texture of the snowflakes. I'm using the foam adhesive squares from Scrapbook Adhesives and we're just going to kind of layer all of our little pieces. I want to make sure nothing is... Why I had such a hard time getting this little guy right where I want him to go, who knows? And then I'm going to adhere my mouse. Then we will take a little bit of some black and white gingham, which also is hilarious. You guys, I have had this black and white gingham. I bought this huge spool. I hardly have any left anymore. I would say probably 17, 18 years ago, forever ago, uh, from a company. I don't even know if they still have a website. I was going to look and I forgot. I think it was called Impress Rubber Stamps. Does anyone else remember that? I know that I bought this black and white and also a red and white spool of this little thin gingham ribbon. And I have literally used it, uh, little bits of it for years and years and years. So now I have my acetate layered over the background with that little piece of ribbon. I'm stapling it in place. And then I'm simply just going to tie it once and just kind of knot it up there at the top and snip my ends. And then I realized these shears that I have are terrible. I actually threw them away. They are not sharp. So I grabbed a different pair of scissors to trim up the ends of my ribbon. I love that little bit of black and white uh, gingham ribbon there. I'm gonna put adhesive on the back of the background panel and then pop this onto a white top fold card base. And the acetate is completely uh, free. It's not attached anywhere else. It's just attached with that little staple up at the top, which I think is just the perfect little way to do that. I am gonna add a couple of little snowflakes and a little heart, uh, just a few little embellishments right on top to finish off the card design. We're going to do the same thing for the second card we're going to attach our cute little uh, critters with foam adhesive and put it all together just the same. So I'll speed it up just a tiny little bit to save some time since all of these steps are exactly like before. 
Now, I definitely want to do something special to create coordinating envelopes. We always have to have a coordinating envelope. One of my favorite things is to just stamp the outline, like copy the outline image from something I've used on a card like this. In this case, I think we'll use a dog and then we're gonna use the mouse on each envelope and the snowman. Plus there's some additional sentiments from the Christmas hats that I think will be fun on the back flap of some envelopes. So I've got some white envelopes here from Simon Says Stamp and we are going to use the iced spruce ink to just stamp the outlines on our envelopes. It's very quick, very simple, but the end result are these beautifully coordinated envelopes. I think it's just a treat to get something in the mail that has a beautiful envelope to go with it. So we're going to start with the little dog image here. I've cleaned my stamps. I'm going to put them away <laughs> as I am figuring out which ones I'm going to use. I am going to just stamp one at a time so that I can buddy them up. I can get them as close together as possible. We will stamp the dog with the iced spruce ink in the lower left corner. I always like to make sure I'm leaving plenty of room for the handwritten address. And just the dog by himself is super cute, but I decided to go ahead and add the mouse as well. So we'll just pop him right next to the dog. And I think he's so cute. I like that together. And then on the back flap, I'm gonna flip it over and we are going to take the phrase Merry Christmas and also the phrase from all of us. And we're going to put them one on top of each other and stamp those with iced spruce on the back flap as well. Now I am going to do the exact same thing for the second envelope, but instead of the dog, we will stamp the snowman, but I am going to use the same sentiments for our second envelope. Look how cute of a set that makes. Very simple, but super, super cute. So I already have my sentiments in my Misty, so let's stamp those first. And then we will grab our snowman. I love the snowman. It's a little teeny tiny mini stamp set. I think it's a fantastic addition. If you are a collector of the Anita Jerem stamps from Colorado Craft Company, I think he just goes with everything. And we'll put him back. I almost thought about using the little heart from this, but then I just decided to go ahead and use the mouse. I thought it was just too cute gives the same kind of vibe, but it matches this card a little better. And that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today for these two acetate overlay Christmas cards with matching envelopes featuring brand new products from the Colorado Craft Company July 2022 release. The supplies I use to create my cards are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to my Patreon members. If you would like to become a member of Patreon, please click the link in the description below. We would love to have you over there as part of our community. Here is another video showcasing using the iced spruce to create some Christmas themed gift tags. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel hit that like button, and don't forget to click the notification bell to always be notified when I have a new card making video. Thank you so much for joining me today, and we'll see you next time.